Well, hello again, YouTube. AJ Shaver here. And yes, this is a trailer full of IBC totes. There are actually 14 of them on here. And I know a lot of you have been kind of questioning my sanity, along with my 14-year-old son that was with me today when we got these. He's like, so why are we going for IBC totes? And I said, well, one, because they're free. Two, because we have these nifty rotating pallet forks to empty them out. So I was trying to explain to him, you know, the benefits, one versus the other, a bag versus the IBC tote. So to answer the question at hand, which is better, an IBC tote or a firewood bag, it all comes down to what works best for you. So in our setup, I can get more firewood in a bag than I can a tote. So if I just hand toss it into these, it's a quarter of a cord. If I feed it off the conveyor over here off the big processor, it's a third of a cord. So technically it's less bags versus totes. Now for me, you know, we sell the, um, the bags are right around like 1350 at the pallet level. Normally an IBC tote around us is 50 bucks. So with the bag, you need a, a bag rack 3.0, which is $1,150, or the totes that are 50 bucks a piece. So one bag rack is really worth what? If I do the math right, about 23 IBC totes at that point. So it just comes down to one versus the other. If you have a smaller tractor, it's easier to pick up a quarter of a cord than a third of a cord. So this is me just trying to be non-biased and try to live in both worlds, in the IBC tote world and in the bag world. And um, like I said, the, the biggest thing is which one holds the most benefit for you, the customer. So that's why we offer the rotating pallet forks for $4,400 plus shipping. That does include um, the support arm on it. And I won't lie, it's pretty easy using the IBC totes where you can just flip the switch and watch that, you know, IBC tote roll right upside down. But we have very limited space up here on the woodlot. So to store, you know, all of these IBC totes takes up some very valuable real estate where when the bag is empty, I can scrunch it up into a ball about this big, shove that inside of another bag, and we've literally had, I think, 40 or 50 empty bags within, you know, one full bag. So I can't do that with IBC totes. So oh, just again, it's food for thought. There's not really a right or a wrong answer, although I know some of you out there, there is a right and wrong answer. It is one versus the other. But just trying to be, you know, walk the fence, walk the line, and uh, see which one works out best. Ah, we're, we're trying to use them, and if I don't have a tote, then I can't show off the rotator fork, so it's kind of a, you know, win-lose kind of scenario. It, it's one thing to show the forks going around, but unless I'm actually dumping firewood, you know, it's just one of those things, so. Yeah, it's okay. My wife even questions my own sanity, so it is what it is, but she married me, so what does that say about her? You gotta think, so. Well, if we can get you a sales quote on either maybe our rotating pallet forks or some of the firewood bags, um, the bags are available over on the website. It's just shaverequipment.com. There's the log lift bags. They're the premium ones with the mosquito netting on it and the unloading loops on the bottom. So they're over there on the website. Then there's our power lift bag. It has the same uh, woven sides with the uh, vents all stitched in on all four sides, but no unloading loops. I kind of call that one the fill it and forget it bag, because if I'm putting firewood in that, I can't empty it back out again. So we just want to, you know, put that out wholesale or send it home with somebody. Um, and it's cheaper than the log lift bag. And then the third bag that we offer is the little mini me version one. So it's the same as the log lift, just half as high has the same footprint, the same unloading loops, the same mosquito netting, the same four upper loops, just half the height. So that's our one sixth cord bag. And then any more information on the bag rack 3.0 is also over there on the website, but I do need to talk to you about shipping on that one just because it varies so much. We've shipped them all the way out to California, down into Florida, up into New England states and in the Midwest. So all depending where it goes, shipping's all over the page. And so um, 
which leads me to the next opportunity to earn your business with that sales quote. Give me a phone call. It's 833-SPLITTER. That's 833-775-4887. And you can also email me at sales at shaverequipment.com. And uh, we're going to go fire up the tool cat, get these unloaded, put away, load a split force unit that's going out to Illinois tomorrow. So going to see if we can get a few more things done here on the night before the sun goes down. But thanks for watching. Do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.